Hey, we're back, and we're here today to look at some crazy, weird Flash games. Now, if you don't know, which you might not, because Flash is officially dead now, Flash was a format that people used to create games and animations and interactive things in, and it has unfortunately died out, but it was a big part of internet culture, and today we're going to look at some of the weirder and stranger games from it. I'm not going to look at anything too weird, because there is some really, really weird shit on the internet. And we don't want to dive too far into that. But we are going to look at some weird stuff. So, uh, we're going to be using Flashpoint 10 Infinity, uh, which is a program that allows us to view and play Flash files from around the internet. It has over, I think, 30,000 games, something like that. Over 90,000 games and 10,000 animations running on 33 different platforms. Uh, so, in addition to Flash, it also has access to Unity games and Java and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, if you're interested in Flashpoint, obtaining it, or learning more about it, there will be a link below. Uh, go ahead and check that out. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is the games. So first, we're going to start with a classic. We're going to start with Kitten Cannon, which is an older one. Now, you have to forgive this game because it doesn't want to record in full screen, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's given some problems, but it's old, it's 2005, so you know, it's allowed to have some problems. So, this is Kitten Cannon, and as soon as we start this, you're probably going to recognize this as a certain genre of game. Back in the day, this is pretty original. So, your goal is to launch the kitten as far as possible, avoiding obstacles. Well, you don't want to avoid all the obstacles. Want to hit the explosives to try and get but anyway, let's go ahead and take a peek at it. So, you use the space bar, and at first you want to set the power, which is that little red bar that's going left and right. The farther to right it is, the more power you obtain. Uh, you can use up and down to move the cannon to get a different angle, and that's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and try it, huh? And then you just watch the cat go. Yep. Oh, I gotta apologize for all those little cursors showing up on screen. I'm not sure what causes that with these older flash files, but, you know. We won't spend too much time because I don't want you guys to have a seizure, but, you know. Anyway, this is Kitten Cannon. It's basic. It's gory. It's just something we played in grade school, pretty much. Something edgy, you know, and creative for the time. That's all there is to it. Not much in the way of substance. We uh, used to play this in grade school and brag to one another about our high schoolers. It was an all-around fun time. But uh, anyway, so that's Kitten Cannon. We'll go ahead and get off of that because most people already know where it is and those of you that don't, there's nothing else to explain really, so let's say goodbye to Kitten Cannon. Alright, so let me uh, throw you onto a blank screen for a second there while I get this underway. Uh, next we have a game called Bleach vs. Naruto. Which, uh, already a strange concept, I know. Um, it's two old animes versus one another, I guess. I don't know what it could possibly be. It's loading, though. And that's good. Oh god, it's in Japanese, or Chinese, or Cantonese, or Taiwanese, or something, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll just click and find out. Oh, is this a fighter? Okay. Team plays the top one, so I guess we'll do that. Team Arcade, okay. WASD to move? Okay, so down to block. J. Oh, I seem to have skipped it. God, this has a large character roster. I don't really know much about either one of these animes, but it's interesting to see this big of a roster. Uh, I know this guy's a rapper, so I'm gonna play as him. I guess I picked some more, so uh, I'll go with Gara, because he's a cool guy. At least he was when I watched the show years ago. Uh, and we'll go with this guy. Mr. fucking Strawberry over here. Is that a lion? Alright, you, you had me a lion. I don't know what we're doing here. Maybe this is who goes first? Okay. Koi. These sprites are pretty good. They're probably ripped from something, but you know, they're still pretty good. Oh god. No, stop, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, J... Stop. Okay, so K is jump, actually. That was like a dash. You 
is an attack. I is your assist, I think? It's not actually a bad game. I expected this to be kind of bad. So, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised, actually. Okay, I don't know what that flash was all about, but whatever. I did it! I won! Woohoo! This seems like something that a couple of my friends would have been very interested in when they were younger. Before, you know, we really had access to a lot of console games on download play. You know, you really, you know, you played what you had, and that's where Flash games were really special, I feel, because you just had access to an unlimited amount of them as long as you had access to the internet. So, you know, with console games being as hard as they were to come by as a kid, unless you were, you know, well off, unless your family was well off, you know, it was just always nice to be able to play games for free, and that's why this kind of stuff was so cool as a kid. You know, so if you don't understand why Flash was popular, why other people thought it was cool, you know, it, it's a thing from the times. Nowadays, you can get any fucking video game you want on PC. You can get, you know, virtual console stuff. It, it's super accessible. But anyway, so that was this. This was pretty cool. I thought this would be a lot worse, but whatever. Uh, it's a neat game, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one, because I'm not here to be playing games all night. Unfortunately, right now, I have time to play. But anyway, so that was that. We're going to move on to Pinkie Pie Adventure. A weird spell fell on the main six, shrinking them afterwards. Lights hit them, making them statues, but Pinkie since has saved her, and now she must help her friends out. This is a My Little Pony thing, I guess. I'm not a big fan of My Little Pony. I'm not a fan of My Little Pony at all, but uh, I can appreciate it, I guess. It's a decent form of animation. I'm not one of those guys that's like, <coughs> it's for girls. <coughs> I don't care. You can like whatever you want. But uh, if the game's good, that's what matters to me. Mainly, if the game's weird, that's what matters to me right now. Alright, Pinkie Pie Adventures. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. For players who like a console-like setup, beware for some controls may not work if you select this one depending on your keyboard. That's interesting. What is this, though? ASDJ? Is this movement? ASD? What's the S for? Alright, we're gonna go for the PC one. Oh, you have, like, a little bit of a slide going on here? Oh god, please don't copyright strike me for this. Whoa, that's... that's weird. Alright, hold S to go fast. Oh, you can wall jump. That's interesting. The sprite's glitching out a little bit, but so far this game isn't too bad. When you get to the checkered pattern blocks, that means you've reached your friend. Oh boy! Oh god! What's going on? Alright, that was... That was interesting. Oh, she's so much smaller! Why is he so much smaller? I thought they were all the same size. Okay, you happen to fall, you will start back at the beginning of the level. Basic stuff. Okay, I can actually unintentionally jump to the same direction. Oh no. Good level design. Just kidding, it's not real great level design. The platform ahead is too far to jump unless you have a running start. Alright, fine. Oh. If areas are too small to jump quickly, push I to do a small jump? I doesn't do anything. One, you mean? No? Is that a J? Okay. No, stop! Alright, if you can't go right, why not try going left? You don't have to go one direction. I want to go up! Honestly, I really don't want to run in this game because of these platforms. I'm just constantly worried that, oh god, I'm gonna fall like that right there. Of course, that wasn't, you know, because the platform was too short or anything. That was just my fault. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, okay. You just roll down the wall. <laughs> Alright, that's different. Like, this isn't a bad game either, I guess. It's mediocre. It's kind of broken that you can just stick onto any wall you want, though, because right there I was just able to climb right back up the thing. 
Also, what happened to the screen scrolling? What is this, Mario Brothers on the Nintendo? No, I want up there, though. Okay. Leap of faith and whatnot. I don't know if this music's from My Little Pony, but I really hope I don't get a copyright claim for this. They're so tiny! This one's smaller, even! Why are the sprites so much tinier? Oh, the, is the background moving slightly? Hmm, okay. God, come on. You, 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 if you needed, use wall jump on edges of platforms for a great boost. Oh god. <laughs> that was, uh, that was interesting. Like, it's Splash, so of course it's not perfect, but it's still amusing to watch. Oh no! I've fallen and I can't get up! I don't know why I just did that. Alright, I'll try to get to the end of this level and then I gotta move on. Like I said, I'm a little pressed for time right now, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to just sit here and play Flash games all day, but I do not have the time for that right now. I've actually gotta contact a buddy of mine here in a little bit talk to him about some stuff, so. Uh, okay. I guess I was supposed to go to the left there. This music is actually pretty good. I don't know if- I doubt they composed this music themselves, whoever made this game, but, uh, some good music. Oh god. Oh god, no. So I guess I was supposed to go down there, but I just ran jumped it. Or run jumped it, you know? Fuck that. Why a why yay? Isn't that a meme from this show or something? With the yellow one, that one right there. Alright, so oh yeah, fuck it, we'll go ahead and try and finish this right quick. It can't be too much longer. There's only five characters in the show, aren't there? There's six characters, and I'm playing as one of them. Whoa, is that an enemy? No? Okay. Is that, is that just a secret? Okay. Let's roll down this hole, then, I guess. There we go, I found a secret. Oh, don't think I was supposed to go this way. You know, I don't know if one exists, but it is a little surprising to me that I've never heard of a My Little Pony platformer, or any type of video game. I'm sure, like, shovelware games exist, but you think that someone would have made, like, a, a real platformer, or a real you know, My Little Pony game on console by now. As popular as it's been over the past couple years. Or the past, what, what's it been, like eight years now since My Little Pony saw the resurgence that it did? I thought I missed it there for a second. I'm just gonna jump, fuck it! The game's handling surprisingly well. I really didn't expect to have like good controls on a Flash game, especially a platformer. Alright, so what, there's one left? No, that was it? Okay. Oh, well, that was the whole game, I guess. Advanced levels, where the challenge is 20% harder? How would you even... How would you even, like, math that out? <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna play the advanced levels, but, uh, you know, that was the game, and it was pretty decent for what it was, so we're gonna go ahead and jump out of here and go on to the next one. But before I do that, I need to check a setting right quick. There we go. Alright, next we have Sonic Bowling. Oh god, this just looks fantastic already. Why isn't this just a regular bowling game? Why did this have to be Sonic? 
nine spins, spare will be worth 30? Or did that say 300? I didn't even read it in time. Spares are worth 300. Frame total, 300. Well, how many frames are there? Is this just like regular bowling? What is it, eight frames, I think? Oh, the points are doubling. Crazy. I should not have hit that. There's no way that should have hit, but it did. There we go. Look at that. Got a strike. Crazy. I've got the feeling that if I just do this every time, I'm going to get a strike. No? Well, that's surprising. Do I just keep going until I run out of balls? Or Sonics, so to speak? Nothing. Oops. What? What? <laughs> what? This is bullshit. This game is a load of shit. Okay. I don't know who made this, but they obviously don't know how bowling works. Jeez. They go all the way over there. Nothing. I thought it. I thought I only had one ball left. Why did I get it back? Alright, we're gonna purposefully try to get rid of the balls. Or the Sonics, I guess. What? How did it come back out of the gutter? What? This person has definitely never played bowling in their life. <laughs> Why do I keep getting balls back, too? I just wanna lose and I can't even do that. Okay, we're on the tenth frame. I don't remember how many frames are pulling offhand. I thought it was eight. I'm probably wrong on that, though. Does this just never end? Oh, there we go. Okay, it ended. It felt like it took forever, though. So that was uh, Sonic Bowling. It was uh, pretty bad. A little bit of a weird combination, but I guess I can see where they're coming from. I mean, Sonic rolls into a ball. He goes fast. Why not, right? I mean, Sonic, like, pinball, Sonic spinball was a little bit of a weird idea, I guess, originally, but... Alright, let's move on to the next one. We have another Sonic game. This one is Sonic Motobike. Now, I was actually inspired for the idea, or I was inspired, yeah, for the idea of this video by a game similar to this one that I could not get to run. Uh, okay, we were full screen a second ago, there we go. Uh, so, the game that actually inspired this video was Naruto Motocross, but unfortunately it didn't run. So instead, you got Sonic Motobike. Oh my god, that looks awful. How do I control this? It's just up. It's... Is this one of those... Okay. Alright, this is one of these. Gotcha. I don't know why Sonic needs a motorcycle. Also, that's an ugly looking motorcycle. So to control this, you just hold up. And you press left and right to sort of, like, angle the bike. And that's it. I don't know if it ends. We'll play it a time or two to see if we can actually get to an ending if one exists. Is our restart? Okay, I couldn't tell if they messed up the put restarter up there. Or if, you know, it actually restart the game. Because, uh, I don't know if you know or not, but Flash is, uh... Flash was accessible to pretty much everyone with a computer. Which means that there are a lot of games, but there is a lot of trash also. No? Going too fast? So there is a ton of bad Flash games and Flash animations. Which is part of the fun, honestly, finding all the trash you can. But at the same time, it makes it hard to find quality entertainment. It was just, you know, kind of a magical thing as a kid to find something good amidst all of the garbage and share it around. So, that's just yet another reason why I feel that people really enjoyed Flash. You know, kind of like the early days of gaming where you find a good game, or the early days of, you know, home video where you share around your favorite movies. But anyway, I digress. This game is garbage. It's really bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the ending, but I will try one more time after this. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'll try this last time, and then we're out of here, on to the next one. I've got a couple special ones uh, saved up that I've heard some interesting things about that we're going to try. Come on. Oh, come on. No, no! Alright, well, that was Sonic Motobike. Not Motorbike. Not Motocross. Motobike.
All right, moving on to the next game. We have uh, a Mario game. We have something in the veins of the last game. We have Mario Truck. Is that what this is called? Mario Truck War? By someone named Cartoon Mini. Probably another Flash Games website. Oh, God. This looks like hand-drawn art, like original art for this. I can't tell if it is or not. But let's go ahead and play. Oh, my God. That looks atrocious. Ooh. It looks so bad. Oh, fuck, that looks gross. What's with this bondage gear? It's not Donkey Kong. And what, fucking Bowser's had a stroke over here. His face has, like, slid downward a little bit. Mario looks pretty normal, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Donkey Kong, or whoever this imposter is. Okay, so it's the arrow keys to play with R being restart and M being nitro. They're so far apart, though. Okay, global selections, I thought maybe this was just like a... Oh, what in the world? Okay, it's it's another similar control scheme where left and right angle the vehicle and up and down accelerate and reverse. Except you keep getting nitro and un unlike the other one you have health on this one, which really doesn't make much sense because once you crash you're pretty much stuck there. So I don't understand the point of having the health bar. I, I don't know, maybe it was just to kind of set it apart from other games of this genre at the time. Because there were a lot of these kind of games at the time. So, I guess that the reason this is a Mario game and the reason you have health is, you know, to differentiate. Like, right there, I'm fucked. Also, it was right before the end. And I don't know if they stole that animation for the, like, go thing, but it's pretty good. I hate to say good things about this game, because that Donkey Kong sprite is atrocious. Also, these vehicles don't look like anything from Mario Kart, which seems like a wasted opportunity. Also, the backgrounds don't have to do with Mario at all. So I feel like this guy just either had these assets, or made these assets, and found some Mario ones. Like, he found a couple Mario ones, and was like, yeah, I can do that. I'll just make it into a Mario game. God, Bowser looks like he's tweaking, dude. Look at those eyes. Yeah, but other from, or other, aside from the fact that this has a Mario theme across it, and I guess the map is a nice little addition, but other than that, there's really nothing to set this apart from games of the same genre. It's just mediocre. It's fairly easy. I'll do one more level of it just for kicks. But, uh, yeah, I, I really don't understand the aspect of getting points in this game. It's not like you can upgrade your vehicle or anything. So, what's the point of the points? Also, it says 100 points, but then it just gives me coins at the bottom. So, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's very confusing. Okay, whatever. So, that was Mario Truck War, which had nothing to do with war at all. Also, now that I look at that... And Donkey Kong, it looks like a bear with Donkey Kong space slapped on it. That's what that looks like. I'm pretty sure gorillas have like like skin on their palms, don't they? And their fingers? It just looks weird. Honestly, I think these are just Mario heads placed on these bodies that have been drawn. I don't know, it looks real weird. Oh, I can add this game to my website. Anyway, so that was Mario Truck War. Let's move along. Next, we have another Mario game, Angry Santa Mario. Ooh, look at the little, look at the little alligator. Gator Ponds. It was kind of cool to see all the different flash screens and stuff. Splash screens, splash screens, if you will. But it was always neat to see all the different, you know, animation studios, logos and stuff. Oh, good. We're ripping stuff straight from, what is this, Paper Mario? All right. Whoa. Whoa, no, no, no. I thought that was controls. Get the hell out of there. Don't open that. Who knows what that leads to nowadays. Alright, click your mouse to swing your weapon. Hold your mouse to reach maximum swing power, then release it. Press up key to jump up! Why isn't this WASD? God, that means I have to move, like, it's awkward. Avoid hitting boo. Okay, I get started to become invincible. Duh. Coins to collect. Does that say 1330? That's an... 
Oh no, this is just a ripoff of the Black Knight! What? This is literally just a ripoff of another Flash game that's much better. This is... this is trash, man. So if the concept for this game looks appealing, there is a Flash game called The Black Knight that is exactly this, only done a thousand times better. And it's not Mario themed. This is literally a ripoff in every sense of the word. It's so bad. Alright, I have to see if, if you can get upgrades between levels, because that was like one of the main mechanics of the Black Knight that made it pretty good, was you could upgrade equipment and stuff. Also, I can't stop getting paralyzed, or fucking stunned, or whatever you want to say. Every time I swing the hammer, I get stunned. And Mario goes, whoa! Whatever, I don't even care to play this enough to find out. But this is a literal ripoff. You know what? Let me see if this guy's on fucking YouTube. Oh my god, when you click the link to go to their YouTube... It, no, 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 shut the hell up. When you click it to go to their YouTube, it, it tries to subscribe you instantly. Oh my god, this is just all ripoffs. They have footage of their other games, and it's all ripoffs. All of it. I don't- I'm not even gonna link you to this. We're not even gonna do this, because... It's not worth giving them the views. Also, I will go ahead and say their name is not Gator Ponds anymore. So don't even try looking that up. You'll just waste your time. Anyway, moving on to the next game. That was garbage. Let's go on. We have another ripoff game here. And I think this is the second to last ripoff game that we've seen so far. I went ahead and got most of the trash out of the way to begin with. I didn't know Bleach vs. Nardzo was going to be so good. And Peaky Pie Adventure was okay. But we're getting the trash out of the way. So next we have Goku Dress Up. Bet you didn't see that coming. Uh, Goku Dress Up. Let me see if I can full screen this. There we go. Oh man, look at all these options. Uh, yep, no, let's... Oh uh, shit, blah 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 blah. You can't hear music right now. That's... we don't need that. There we go. Okay, so that was probably copyright inducing. Oh, okay, there are more options. All right. Oh, God, that looks awful. Uh, what is this? Wh what is this? Oh, God, look at that. They predicted fucking super. <laughs> it looks awful. Is that just Gohan's head on Goku's body? Oh, that's awful. Oh, those pants look fucking lovely. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Show me the trash pants. There we go. Uh, these shoes look nice, too. Are those just socks? God, this is bad. This is so bad. Alright, we're 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 done with this, because that's all there is to this garbage. There's some more options, but it all looks really bad. Oh, I like Goku's face just shifted over after he took the scouter off. Also, his hair, like, flipped around for a second. Also, I don't remember Goku, like, in Dragon Ball Z, you don't remember his aura being, like, blue or gray? Oh, uh, there. Goku looks cool! Goku looks cool! God, if I didn't already have a thumbnail planned for this, that would be the thumbnail for this video. It's bad. Dress again. So, same thing! Anyway, that is Goku Dress Up. Let me turn the volume back up so we can actually hear stuff now. Um, next is another piece of garbage known as Talking Tom Nose Doctor. And if you're not familiar... With Talking Tom, it's an iPhone app that came out forever ago with a 3D cat, and when you say things, he says it back in a high-pitched voice. That's all Talking Tom was. Um, what we're about to play, though, is one of the weirdest phenomenons on the internet of the late Flash era, and that is these strange doctor games, where you... The games are, like, famous characters, video game characters, movie characters, Elsa from Frozen, specifically, and... It's these weird doctor games where they're just super easy to make and they have gross shit in them constantly. And there's no gameplay at all, hardly. Like, what? Okay, that was it. I'm done, I guess. Oh, no, don't open. Don't open that. God, no. Okay, let's try this again right quick. So, what am I even supposed to do here? I'm supposed to click these first, I guess. 
But these games are just bad. They're just so trash. So lazy just to fucking cash in on famous shit. And I can't even figure out how to play it. I really can't. We're going to try the classic play option. I didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to do here. Oh, there we go. Now I can use it for some reason. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, this is to fucking shave hair. Did he just bleed? Oh, that's disgusting. This is, this is so gross. And I'm playing it. But there are thousands of this particular type of game on the internet, and I have no clue why. It's like, you know when you see those YouTube videos aimed towards kids that have, like, famous characters and stuff that seem like they're made by a, a fucking algorithm? That's what this is. Ugh, gross. Why am I even playing this? This is disgusting. Great. Can I can I get that? Thank you. It's very unresponsive. Sometimes it doesn't even respond. I don't know, man. That more button's in a tricky location too, because it says more right next to where you would get the tools. Okay, this isn't working for some reason now, go figure. But, uh, anyway, it says more right next to where you get tools. You don't even have to play the game. But look, look, here's fucking Poe or whatever that thing's called from the Android game. And here's fucking Gumball from Amazing World of Gumball. It's just, it's all garbage. There's no redeeming quality to it. And you might be thinking, oh, well, it'll keep my kids busy for a little while. But no, don't even do that shit. If you see these kind of games on mobile, keep your kids away from them. They're fucking trash. They're the lowest tier of, of entertainment. Alright, next we're moving on to something that may not be actually trash. Uh, oh god, it's the same thing. Never mind. This is the last of the trash games. After that, we're on to actually different, like, unique, weird stuff. So this is wowsomegames.com, which you'll see here in just a second because it opened in a different window. Uh, let me see if I can full screen this. Nope, we're having similar problems as before. You just gotta have to deal with it. We're getting through this one quick because this is a similar game. That's sadness from... Okay, I thought the name sounded weird, but no, nope, that's just... Yep, okay. I don't know, what have I done? Oh, God. Use the towel to remove the water. God, you, you have to use the tip of the towel, too. You can't even use the actual towel. Oh, God, that's annoying. Also, what the fuck, man? At this point, just buy a new phone. Jesus. Like, fuck. How'd you get your phone this fucked up from dropping it in a puddle of water? Or did it go in the grate? I, does it even matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Okay, there. Alright. To apply the what? What did that say? Ugh, gross. What is the music? How does this fit the scenario? This is just another one of those games that gets your kids to play it by having fucking famous characters in it and shit. Okay, well the screen's fucked up, so it doesn't matter how much we clean this thing, it's gonna need a new screen anyway. I don't know why I'm analyzing this shitty game. Also, you can't fool me, that's the same towel, just a different color! Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. You just pour that shit on there and it just gets rid of the scratches. Just, just fills them right in. You know, no problem. Apply the foil? The foil. Right. Who calls a screen protector a foil? Maybe someone from a foreign country, but not over here in America where this was made, I assume. Great job. Alright, remove the back. Why are we removing the back? What screwdriver? Oh, this screwdriver. My bad. Oh, that's annoying. No, come back. I'm sorry for all the cursors on screen. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you're sitting through this. I'm so I don't know why you're what. I mean, I know why you're watching me, but I don't know why I'm doing this right now. I just wanted to show you weird Flash games. Not this. Not this garbage. But it's almost over. The, the needle's almost out. Just, just hang on. I mean, we're almost done, dr done drawing blood here. It's, it's getting close. Just give me just a minute here. Great job. We did it. Oh, now I can outpaint the phone! No? I don't? This is a cell-free zone. Oh, look at that. I can put a Hello Kitty sticker on there. A penguin. This is a cell-free zone on my cell phone. Oh, good. Now I'm drawing on the phone. This better be the back. Yay! Yee! I got my phone back, and it's, like, brand new, and that looks disgusting. And that's the game! Hope you enjoyed the garbage I showed you there. Alright, on to something a little bit more interesting. Now, this may be a little bit of an adult nature, but there's no actual nudity. So I assume this will be fine on YouTube. If not, I'll have to edit this part out and re-upload it. But I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, this is an adult swim game called Pole Dance Hero. And when I saw this, I was like, holy shit, why does this exist? And also how, and also why again? Um, oh shit, can't go full screen. Oh wait, there we go, now we're full screen. Anyway, this is Pole Dance Hero. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, how could this be safe for work? Well, there's no actual nudity, there's no sexual content. Um, it's just a, it's just a DDR knockoff. Is all it is, to be completely honest. Alright, hang on, something's not working here. There we go. Uh, I don't know how much of this I can play, I might get copyright claimed on this. I'm hoping not, but it, this is literally just a DDR hero clone, or a DDR hero. This is a DDR clone, or a guitar hero clone. Now, there is actually a little bit of nudity in this, or nudity in this but it is censored, so we won't actually get to see it. Oh no, I know that's what you're thinking. But anyway, that's all this is. The music is awful quiet on this end. I don't know if it's actually playing or not. I can't tell. So, if it's not playing music, I apologize. If it's not, that saves me the trouble of having to deal with copyright claims, though. So, that's good. Shit, I'm so bad at this. I'm just bad at games in general sometimes. I don't know, man. I must be getting old. Like, I used to play games all the time when I was a kid. But nowadays, I play less and less, and I feel like I'm just getting worse at them. I don't know. But anyway, this is Pole Dance Hero. Aren't you glad you saw it here? Uh, let's go to the fullest, baby. Hopefully this doesn't get me fucking blocked on YouTube or something. It's censored. It shouldn't. Also, my videos aren't for kids. Oh, that was a cheap one. Hey, my video videos aren't for kids. They specifically say that in the description of the video sometimes. Mostly on, you know, when you upload a video, it's like, is this made for kids? Yes or no? I click no. There you go. That's that's how I cover my ass. So, you know, polegasm. Good lord. But anyway, this uh, is Pole Dance Hero. I'll go ahead and do one more song right quick. Oh, damn it. You have to re-click the fucking game. Immediately after you start the song, you have to re-click the game. Also, you think you could stop dancing on the thing right in the middle so I can actually see what I'm doing? So, in case you don't know, Adult Swim, um, I'm sure you know who Adult Swim is. If you don't, they're a adult entertainment, and I don't mean porn, they're like a, you know, young adult entertainment company that does, uh, adult cartoons and stuff like that. You know, like Bob's Burgers and that kind of shit. Uh, Family Guy, that kind of stuff. So, they actually produce cartoons and stuff on Cartoon Network, which is a little weird, but, uh, anyway, they used to produce all sorts of Flash games. They made tons of Flash games. As far as I know, the most popular one that I can think of was Robot Unicorn Attack, which, if you've never seen that before, look up a video of that, because that game's great. But, uh, they used to make tons of Flash games, and this is one of them that they produced, actually. So, that's just your interesting bit of information for the day.
But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Their games never had a whole lot of substance to them or had any real deep meaning or anything. They started making Unity games. I don't know if they still are or not. Every once in a while, I know they release a, a console or a PC game, which is really neat. But, uh, I don't know if they do anything anymore. Uh, in fact, I haven't even watched Adult Swim in a long time, so I don't even know if they have any good shows on there or not. But anyway, that was Pole Dance Hero, Thighs on the Prize. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next game. Um, we're going to save that one for last, because it is very, very strange. Uh, we're going to go on to Cockroach House Escape. So if you don't like bugs, you're squeamish around them, this may not be the game for you. I have not played this, however, so I have no clue what's going on. Hmm, where am I? Oh, is this an escape game? This might take a while. We're not going to play all of this, probably, if it's an escape game. I don't want to stay here. Is that a three on the bed? Why is there a three on the bed? Please help me find a way out. Well, I can't interact with that thing on the bed. Navigate scenes by clicking the arrow button. Navigate between scenes. It is locked. Okay, what's over here? There's a bottle. Uh, if you've never played an escape game before, the general premise is to escape the location that you're stuck in uh, by using various items and figuring out... Yeah, I, I'd like to actually take the bottle, though. By combining items and doing all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, there's a thermostat here. Uh, no clue what it's doing yet. Can't click that. You can zoom in the item by clicking the small button below the icon. There is no small button below the icon. I'm not sure what you're telling me here. But uh, these escape games can be really, really vague. And it, it's one of those things that's like, oh, well, you're not going to figure this out by, you know, the way you normally would. You're going to figure it out by the way I intend you for you to figure it out. Which uh, can be annoying. Yeah, I see these arrows, but I'm not getting anything. But, uh, you know, these games can be fun time wasters. But most of the time, they're very difficult to figure out. Because they're intended to be figured out the way the creator... You know, intended for them to be figured out. Yeah, it's locked. I got it. So uh, we're actually going to go ahead and skip this because I cannot find out what to do right now. And we don't have time to be spending lots of points on every game. I guess this is just a generic escape game. I'm not sure what cockroaches have to do with it. I didn't see a clock or anything indicating which direction these should be pointed. So I have no clue. Uh, you'd think that that would be clickable, since it's like a vent or something. you think this kid would be able to climb out of it. Um, other than that, I'm not seeing anything to interact with, so... I don't have any items. I can't open this locker for some reason. I can't pick up the bottle. Let's see. Can you actually see that when I right-click? Oops. Oh, let me bring her back up. There we go. No, you can't. Uh, so, there's actually... Actually, hang on. There's an easy way to figure this out, maybe? Uh, nope. Looks like Flashpoint doesn't actually let me do it, but... Anyway, there are a few ways you can kind of, like, glitch out Flash games and kind of, like, mess around. Unfortunately, can't really do that with Flashpoint much anymore, so whatever. We're gonna go ahead and exit this. If this looks like your cup of tea, like always, the links to the games will be in the description. Uh, if I cannot find a link, I will link you to... Flashpoint, which will already be in the description, and you can find out how to play this game for yourself. Anyway, next is a real weird one. This is called Matoza. This is actually like a classic Flash game. But, uh, essentially you pick an option and you see how it pans out. Like, I'm gonna pick this bird. So, now you can pick another one of the two options and see exactly what you end up with. Uh, I expected that to be an egg. There we go. Anyway, this is a pretty classic Flash game as well. I uh, haven't actually played a whole lot of it. I played it once before a long time ago. Oh, good. Oh, I'm, I'm glad there was a littler egg in the big egg. Oh, goodbye. Uh, I don't know if I want to pick fire, but that other one's a nail, so... 
We're gonna go for nail. That's the tongue. Okay. All right. That looked painful. And now we're back to the sea. So let's go back to the bird. Let's do the exact same thing and then pick fire this time. Click, 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 click. Yeah, this game is very strange. Oh! I think that rabbit's dead. We'll go ahead and do one more of these right quick. Uh, there's a lot of different outcomes to this game, obviously. And we don't have time to do them all, unfortunately. But like I said, if you're interested in this game, link's down below, so... Oh, my flower! Also, that broke that bowling ball, so it must have fell from real high. Let's go with the smiley face. Oh, good, good. At least I have something to replace my flower. Let's give it a top hat. Uh, pumpkin or apple? Well, I like pumpkins better. Myself. Oh, it's become a pumpkin now. Oh, okay. And then it fucking exploded. Alrighty. So that is Matoza. It is very weird, um, with plenty of endings. I don't know if there's, like, a real ending ending, but... That's Matoza, so let's move on. Uh, next we have an older Flash game called Sushi Cat, which I've actually played a few times and beaten when I was younger. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of Peggle. I don't know if this keeps saves, but yeah, I, I actually played this a little bit a, a week ago or so. But uh, the point of this game is that you're a fat cat who sees another fat cat that he likes, falls in love with her, wants to get inside, and can't. Keeps trying, though. Poor guy. So what's he do? Sees a guy go in, the door opens. Instead of waiting for the guy to come back, he just goes and eats sushi. So there's, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 levels with a couple cutscenes. So your goal is to peggle it up in here, essentially. Uh, you want to grab all the power-ups, or the power-ups, you want to grab all of the food and having power-ups along the way, then you get different points at the bottom depending on where it lands. Also, uh, you have to get up to the 10 limit in the belly, uh, and every time you get to a new point, 2, 4, 4, 6, 8, or 10, your multiplier goes up. But you have to beat the level by getting to 10 on the belly scale. And every time you eat, your cat gets a little more fat. So sometimes it's a little hard to go through some of the areas. So you kind of have to be careful about which area you choose first. Also, this just shows all of the sushi that's actually there. It's, it's kind of a neat little thing. But uh, that's Sushi Cat. It's fun. It's simplistic. And it's got a cute story. There's actually a sequel or two to this. I think there's a third sequel? I know there's a second one. I haven't actually played it, but I know it exists. And like I said before, if any of this interests you, all these games are available on Flashpoint. Um, Sushi Cat might actually be on Android and iPhone, I'm not sure. It might also be on Steam. I don't think it's on Steam, but I think it's on Apple and Android. But anyway, uh, so that's Sushi Cat. I'm going to go ahead and finish this level and then we'll wrap it up. Fine. No, go for that 200. That's what I want. Anyway, Sushi Frenzy. So yeah, it's just a fun little pedal-like game. But uh, anyway, moving on to the next one, we have Screamin' Beans. I have no clue what this is. Screamin' Beans. Start clicking and just keep on clicking. Oh, good. Okay. Oh no! I squished him! Is my goal just to squish screaming beans? Good. I feel bad! 
I don't want to squish beans, but I have to because it's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, he's moving. Man, that looked violent. Whoa, Ninja Bean. Oh no. Oh no! I'll get him when he stops. There we go. Right. Okay. No, come back! I want to squish you! I mean, I don't really want to, but I'm supposed to. Alright, that was screaming beans, I guess. Uh, alright. Alright, next we have another classic Flash game. This is Cursor 10, which is pretty neat. Uh, Cursor 10 is an interesting game. So you have to click the stairs and get to the 16th floor. So, sounds easy enough. Well, here's the twist. So, we keep clicking on the stairs. I'm sorry if my reaction time's a little slow here. I'm not the best at these kind of games. Anyway, your cursor life will go down. Oh no, what are we supposed to do now? There's no way to get past. Uh, but anyway, your cursor life goes down and you hit your next life. That's where the game becomes interesting. The cursor you had before moves on its own. What is that? It's up here. And it goes to the next floor as well. It does exactly what you did before. We're actually going to stay on this floor because I need to press this button. But uh, anyway, so that's the interesting thing about this game. Each time you use a cursor, you get a new life. It does exactly what you did before, which is really cool. This is such a cool idea for a game. Uh, I guess I should have held that so my next life would be a lot faster. This is where it gets kind of annoying because you have to hit this a hundred times, which you cannot do on one cursor life unless you get up there really quickly. So this is a game that requires you to play a few times to get it right, but it's definitely a very interesting and fun game, especially when you challenge your friends to try and do it. But uh, it's a classic Flash game that's worth checking out. So I'll go ahead and finish... Oh, double-clicked. Go ahead and finish the run here right quick. Ah, shit. I went way too slow. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish this run, and then I'll move on to the next game. But this is a really fun game, so I, I definitely want to finish this run right quick. This is really one of those recognition games. You know, once you start doing it, you figure out a lot faster and faster how to improve and how to do it a lot better, you know? Alright, so like next I need to hit all three of those buttons at once. I don't think I'm going to get to. No, I did even slower this time, I think. Yep. It gets a little confusing seeing all the cursors. It gets hard to keep track of exactly where you are. God dang it. I fucked up. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to win. Uh, I'll just end it here. Well, I'll, I'll end it after I see my high score. I'm not exactly how sure how the scoring works on here. It's, it's pretty wild. Oops, double-clicked again. Oh, you get points for breaking those. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just go ahead and break them so I have some points. I'm not really sure how anyone's supposed to get a really high score and actually beat this at the same time. Alright. High score, 24. 
So that's this. This is a really cool game. Check it out. It's really neat. But now we're moving on to the next one. We have a couple more games. Uh, this has been going for almost an hour, so I need to hurry this up. Uh, this is Ultimate Flirt Off. Which one are you, dude or lady? Well, I'm a dude last time I checked. Boy, what you look like? Uh, we're gonna go with this guy. What's your name, Stingray? Uh, my name is... Rockin' Bob Malarkey. Oh no, I can't put Malarkey. Oh, uh, my name's Rockin' Bob. Uh, my catchphrase? Yeah, I gotta commit to it. Bees. Am I right? Oh no. It's just bees. It's just bees. Who'd I come out with? Grendel? How about Gruntilda? That sounds like a lovely name. Who will you flirt with, ladies? Hey, I think this cutie wants to chat you up. Get ready for some flirting. Watch the timer, keep the conversation rolling, show your interest, and impress. Uh, drink. Do... a flump. Do flump. I'm sorry? Uh, uh, hi. Um... What am I supposed to do here? Drink. Uh, this song sucks. I love pop. Oh no, I'm doing horrible. Drink. Um. Uh, yeah, just uh. I'm bad at this. Much like real dating. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Bees. Yeah? I said bees. Alright. Bees. 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 Oh, I just have to keep going till time runs out. I can say whatever I want. Warped schmorp. Yeah, there we go. Bees, 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 warp schmorp. Drink. Uh, bees, dorb, mph, mphlu. Bees, drink, gorbic, gorbnik. You have no clue how I'm supposed to win at this. Go for it. <laughs> Look at his legs! Bad ending. Alright, let's try this again right quick. Alright, this party sucks. Sorry. So, I don't know what the point of drinking is, it just makes things worse. Hi, how's it going? Hey, what's up, she says. Uh, do you... Go to, uh, shit. Hmm. Have you read, uh, any good books recently? Yeah, I just read It's Not a Truck. Alright, what's that about? Oh, um, it's about how to use the internet. What? Sounds redonkulous. <laughs> and she liked it? Okay. Some weather, huh? I know this weather is great. I uh, like fall. Oh, look at that! I picked the right one. Yeah, fall's so pretty. She says. Have you seen any? Uh, good movies recently. 
Yeah, I just saw a third cabinet from the left. Drink. Um... What's... That... Shit. Uh, about? Oh no, but the more drunk I get, the worse it gets. What's... That... About... It's so scary, I couldn't get myself a plate for like two weeks. Shit, sounds... Rad. Look at me, I'm a drunk dating master! Uh, bees. Do... You... Go... To... Drink... Uh, Thornley? Bees, do you go to Bornley, Thornley, or what the fuck ever I just said? Drink. Uh, school's challenging. School's challenging! Storm weather her. <laughs> oh, I just have to keep drinking until my glass is gone. Okay. What... Dorb, your berm, <laughs> sturbdy. <laughs> An automotive fashion major. Can't tell if she's drunk too. I'm. Shit, uh. Gopher. I'm Gopher. I'm Gopher! Marby. We should study each other. <laughs> I meant to say together. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, drink. Go for it. Them little legs. Oh no, that pissed her off. <laughs> okay, well that was this. What was this called again? Uh, Ultimate Flirt Off. This was pretty good. Uh, next we're going to move on to Marble Safari. Alright, this is Marble Safari. Oh, I guess we'll click the marble. No? Yeah? Okay. Whoa, Safari. An expedition to observe your official mandate? Excuse me? Whoa! Whoa, I'm destroying everything! Whoa, this is crazy! They're set to destroy everything? Oh no! I broke? I think if I hit the dirt, I break. Oh, I was eaten alive, but I'm a marble! This is kind of crazy. Shoot. I don't know what I'm supposed to- I'm just supposed to discover things? That's kind of cool, I guess. I'm gonna kill that thing. I get you, giant bug. I'm a giant slayer now. It's this. Okay. So I think I gotta take it back. Scholar. Factual historical record 7 out of 8. Public interest in bugs suspected due to minor incidents where bugs allegedly ate our children. Our citizens. My bad. That is a children. Yeah, I killed that bug. What's up here? Whoa, what's happening? Oh god, no! My little spaceship got eaten! I'm underground now? Weird. This is definitely a strange game. Hey, I can use this thing to get through walls. Nice. Earth mover. Well, I got digested, I think. I don't know how to get out of this thing without dying, though. I think I gotta get out of here. I don't know how to... Homecoming, healing light, bookworm, fiction. This is something that I need to spend a lot of time doing. Like, I need to spend maybe half an hour on this to actually figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. 
can't put the marble down here. I think I'm supposed to go back to the ship to get health back. Okay. How do I get out of here now? Maybe back the same way I came just now? From up top left? Hmm, I can't seem to get it to attack the ship again. I think I'm just stuck down here. I don't know if there's anything down here worth doing either. Then again, I think I have infinite lives, so I don't think it really matters. I think the point is just to explore. This is a pretty neat game. It's strange, but it's pretty cool. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but... Yeah, marble it up. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I may play this game eventually in more detail for the channel. I don't know. Probably won't, but I might. I never know. Uh, I would like to start playing more Flash games for the channel, actually. It's one of the reasons why I started this video. But, uh, you know, I might get back to it sometime. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and move on because I have no clue what to do. And, like I said, I'm on a little bit of a schedule, so let's move on. All right, next we have a game called Windowsill. What, uh, have we here? There's an eye. Oh, I can move the eye. It's getting mad, though, I think. There's this thing. Some, like, little ghosties or something? Weird. There's a clock. Put this... Oh, this thing lets me see? Okay. There's some weird looking... There's legs up here, I think. There's a bunch of legs up there. That's weird. There's a ball or something. Oh, maybe this... Okay, oh, okay. It's like a closet. Toys or something. Okay, whoa. This is just a, oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, welcome to Windowsill. This free version contains the first half of the game. Well, that's generous. You can continue playing online, or you can download Windowsill for better performance. Uh, well, we are not exactly online, so... Alright, so is this some sort of puzzle game or something? Windowsill. Oh. Oh, I can I can mess with the blocks. Okay. But wait a minute. No? sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I can pull off the leaves. This is definitely an interesting puzzle game, though. Oh, okay. There we go. So I gotta get the truck to the next room. Oh, I need a circle now. How do I get a circle? Hmm. 
This is definitely very interesting. Oh, I guess I don't need a circle. I just had to open the door. Okay. So this is one of those think outside the box kind of games, huh? Oh, a bird. Oh, I can pick the truck up. And it bounces. I wonder if I can get it to bounce off the ceiling? No? Hmm. Well, it makes little puffs of smoke when I drive it on the ground. It has some momentum to it, and that's cool. Hmm. Maybe if I move this thing around, I'll be able to see something that I couldn't before. Oh, it went back inside. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get the block on this one. I don't even... wait. Yeah, I don't even see a block. Okay, there's nothing I'm missing off the window. That's the full screen. Not really sure. There's oh, there's clouds. Okay. Okay, so the cloud also draws the attention of the bird. Oh, worm. Okay. I picked the worm up. Cool. There you go. Oh my god, it stretches so far. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, on to the next puzzle. I'll do a couple more of these before I jump out. What are these little dots? Oh, I have little drips of water. Whoa. Alright. That's different. Hmm. Whoa. Well, that's as far down as I can move that. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to get one of those little weird things in here. I can't get them to move around, though. Maybe I'm supposed to get all these little drops off. Truck doesn't interact with this thing at all. This thing just seems to move around a little. I can move that way over here, but then it just bounces back. Maybe if I. Nope. That's not doing anything. I'm not sure what to do here. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. So it's like a kind of like a jawbreaker or something. Like a, one of those little Russian nesting dolls almost. But how do I? Okay. Oh, I can pull up on it. All right. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. It's getting tiny. Now what though? Oh, wait a minute. I bet I know what to do. Oh. Alright. Okay, and they kind of attract those. Alright. That's weird. Hey. Got it. Figured her out. All right, that's where I'll stop for now, but this is really interesting and really cool. So, I'm actually I think I will play this one on stream sometime. Or on stream, but on YouTube. All right, next uh we've got a little bit more garbage, I guess. We've got at least one more piece of garbage. We have a I'll just let you wait. Oh, there it is. It's Spider-Man's Cheese Nips Hunt. View instructions. A variety of Spider-Man Cheese Nips and other items are hidden throughout a scene. The names of all the items... Oh, God. It's a search and find. Oh, is there a built-in... Oh, there's a built-in trailer! It just says coming soon. I guess they never even built it in. Alright. Well, let's start the game. The back alley. Try to find everything on your list. Uh, Cheese Man Nips logo. Oh, that's not it. Whoops, I didn't know if we can do that. There's the logo. Spider Man <laughs> and a spider web. This is a real difficult game. I assume this was made for kids, like, uh, you know, just as a product placement sort of thing. The Daily Bugle, Spider Man, and Spider Man. Oh, there's the spider web. Which one's the Daily Bugle? It doesn't mean the actual magazine. Or the newspaper, I mean. I guess it did. Right. The stall. The stall? What? Cheese nips box. Nabisco logo. And Spider Man. I hope that counts as Spider Man. It doesn't count as Spider Man? Oh, Spider, it says. My bad. I thought it said Spider-Man. Best level. Jeez. That was it! That was the whole game! This was made by Kraft Foods for Spider-Man 3. What did any of this have to do with Spider-Man 3 other than Spider-Man being there? Couldn't they have at least made, like, a little web-swinging platformer where you, you know, collect Nabiscos to power up or something? <sighs> Whatever. There was some garbage for you. All right. Uh, we've only got four games left. Five games? We've got five games left. We've got six, but I'm going to leave one out, I think, because of time constraints. But uh, let's go ahead and shoot through these right quick. All right, this one is Velociraptor Off-Road Safari, and I know that sounds beautiful, so give me a second to bring it up for you. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, it is open in a web browser. Oh my god, we have to log in? No, 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 we're not doing that. Come on, just play the game. Off-road Velociraptor Safari. Whoa! Score points in five minutes of play. Lots of things can be scored. Real Raptor fact number 38. Raptors are believed to have had about 14 secondary feathers on their forearms. Well, that's nice to know. Oh my god, there's so much. Nope, we're just going to play this. We're just going to try and figure out how to play this. Why am I going backwards? Can I go frontwards? Oh, whoa, this thing actually handles surprisingly well. Oh, I have a giant mace! What? Whoa, alright. I have a giant fucking mace! That I can swing around with no problem. That's crazy. So what's my goal here? To run over raptors? 
That's awful. Holy shit! Also, they look way more like parrots than raptors. But maybe that's what raptors actually look like? I don't know. I'm not a fucking raptorologist. Oh no! That's awful! Does this game even have a... Okay, it does have a time limit. So I'm not just going around beating up raptors the whole time. Like, it, it's not infinite. There's some sort of goal here. Also, that was a cool jump camera, I guess. This is pretty awful, honestly. And what a weird, like, idea for a game. Like, the raptors aren't even doing anything. They're not even, like, being mean or trying to kill me. They're just fucking there, and I'm just running them over. This is awful. They're running away from me. They don't even want any part of this. You buy a giant chain and spiked ball. This is awful, but I'm there. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with this game now, but I guess I'll play it a few more minutes to see if there's anything to do. There's little dots on the, on the radar. So I guess we'll get on one of these and see what happens. Or if we can get on one of these. Does this do anything? I didn't read the instructions, so I have no clue. Maybe there's more weapons or something? Nope, just like, that's it. I think that's the only controls. I'm sorry, little raptor. But I gotta do this. Oh, it goes in slow-mo, too. It's awful. Oh, this is so awful. <sighs> okay, what are the blue things on the map? Alright, I'm not gonna hit any more raptors if I can keep from it. Because there's no point in me hitting these poor defenseless animals. Or dinosaurs, or whatever you want to call them. I just really want to find out what that blue thing on the map is. Oh no no no! Don't hit the ra don't hit the raptor, please. All right, I got a minute and a half to figure out what this blue thing is. This is a big map, by the way. Oh, I want to hit that so bad. Fuck that blue thing. Awesome. <laughs> anyway. BOOM! It hits the ground and explodes and kills everyone inside! Which is probably for the best because they're just terrorizing animals at this point. Wait, am I? Am I a raptor? WHAT?! What the fuck?! Why am I a goddamn velociraptor trying to kill other velociraptors? What the fuck is going on in this game? What? Just what even, man? Who comes up with this shit? Like, what the fuck, man? This is bizarre. This is beyond bizarre. This is just straight up weird. I'm driving on the wall now. Still haven't figured out what that blue thing is yet. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh no, I fucked it up. Oh, epic stunt, dude! Ugh, okay. Let me, let me look at this right quick. Let me, let me read some of this. <sighs> Offer of... Okay. The Num Nums Corporation. There's a boost I didn't know about? Crazy. All right. That was this bizarre nonsense. Let's move on. Uh, we have a classic coming up next. We have Quop. For those of you that don't know what Quop is, you're about to be enlightened. So Quop is a uh, game that is old and does not want to run full screen. Quop is a game where you use the Q, W, O, and P keys to try and move a jogger. It is extremely difficult um, and it is a classic Flash game. This is one of those games that people would definitely be like, oh, look at my high score. Now, I think you actually can beat this. And some people have videos of this online of them uh, either playing it for a long time or beating it. Um, but it is a very frustrating experience that's a lot of fun at the same time. Kind of like getting over it or Deepest Sword. 
Uh, and it takes forever to get used to these keys. This is a game you'll never get used to playing. Just like getting over it. It it takes forever to get anywhere near good at this game. In fact, I think there's a version of this game with achievements on some website, and one of the achievements is for going like 10 meters backwards or something. Something goofy like that. Shit. Oh, no! Alright, but that's Quop. That's all there is to it. It's a fun, classic game. Now, check it out if you want to. Um, anyway, that's Quop. Let's move on. Next, we have something called Super Sized Mario Bros. Oh, a Newgrounds Flash. That's fucking something I haven't seen in a while. Uh, Newgrounds is a very popular Flash website, in case you were wondering what that is. Alright, so up arrow keys to move... Okay, arrow keys to move up key to jump in air quotes for some reason or in quotes for some reason click the play button to pull. oh my god what is this oh nice jump <laughs> good excellent do I even have to jump? no I can just walk into it why is everything fat? oh can I just walk across this? legs. He's not even walking with his legs! He's like oozing along like a goddamn slime or something. This is awful. This is that quality Flash is known for, though. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, this video has showcased a lot of bad, terrible, and weird games. There are a lot of fantastic Flash games out there. <laughs> Good. There are a lot of... Oh, it's McDonald's. Fantastic Flash games out there. You just gotta know where to look and what to find. Newgrounds is a good selection. Uh, Congregate has some good ones. Unfortunately, right now, you have to use uh, a unique browser to play most Flash games because Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, Edge don't support Flash. Oh. In. So I'm looking at the notes for the game, and it says this game is also known as Clinically Obese Super Mario Bros. Good. Very good. So, uh, that was Super Sized Mario Bros. Let's move along. Alright, so we've done almost everything. We have three games left. Let's go ahead and start with Synopsis Quest. Uh, so, Synopsis Quest uses up, down, left, right to move, and space to interact and talk. Select a quest? Well, let's start with the first one. Alright, learn the basics. Move with the cursor keys. Okay. Interact using spacebar. Search the chest. Welcome to the world of Synopsis Quest. Oh, ha, ha. That's dumb. It's a synopsis of each quest. Well, this music sounds familiar. This is like stock music, I think. This is in Witch and Hero on the Switch and on uh, mobile. I think it's on mobile. Uh, okay, what do we... Class Villager. Class Fire. Oh, I guess I gotta get the numbers a little bit higher than that. That's kind of neat, though. It chooses your class based on the stats you get from the randomization thing. That sounds like a cool MMO mechanic. Alright, my class is Hero. I'm gonna do that one again, though. I wanna see if I can get all nines. Hey, my class is Monster. What? That's a good one! It's almost all nines! Whatever, let's move on. Enter the castle. Good. I'm glad the road right outside the castle has a big gaping pitfall. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh, that's the woods. This has kind of stilted controls. Once you move in a direction, you've like committed to moving in that direction. Exit the castle within five seconds. You've come a long way, hero. As you know, the world is... Oh, God, no! The timer was still going. What? Okay. Can I just move? Oh, I can just move. Okay. All right. Man, there are a lot of these. 
This seems pretty short though, so we should be able to finish this all in time. Greet the hero. Oh, a villager now, I guess. Nice weather today, huh? My laundry should dry quickly. By the way, there's a hero. Is that him? No! No, stop! No! Great. Alright, well, we won't be talking to her next time. Kind of have to tap the keys to get the guy to go more than once. Otherwise, it's like very lag inducing. Lots of people passing through today. Where's the hero? He was here a second ago. It only took like three seconds for him to walk by. Maybe I have to talk to this chick again? Alright, just skip it all. Hero son! Anyway, welcome to Two Tone Village. Alright, I talked to the hero. Let's try this one. Find the magic herbs. Maybe it's up here. Hero, check the grass at his feet. Nothing but weeds here. What? Don't even get to try again? Alright. I don't think it's in there. I think maybe it's in this jar up here because it's kind of standing out. Check in the jar and found the herbs. Got it. Alright. This game is tricky, you know. It's, it's trying to trick you at every fucking chance you get to protect the girl. Holy shit, I killed her! Oh no! What? This game is bullshit! Okay, all I have to do is touch the monsters at least. I don't have to worry about protecting myself too. Skip more. I wonder if they're the ones that did witch in here. I'm gonna look that up here in a little bit. Escape the prison. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. He's holding something from the cell key. Yeah, that's a trap. That's what that is. I think... I don't think I can do the shovel now, though. Stop right there. Oh, I've been captured, apparently. Alright, let's try and get the uh, shovel this time. Maybe I can talk to the guy? No. Uh, I can't get the shovel, even though it's right there. Fuck, I think I gotta take the key. Just an old skeleton. Maybe the guy leaves after a while or something? Also, why am I in jail? Aren't I the hero? Why the fuck am I in a jail cell? I supposed to do now? Okay, if I can't get this again this time, I'll try the next level, since we can just pick levels, I think. But I honestly have no clue what to do. What? There's just an invisible wall? What? Okay, game. Now you're just cheating. Flee the prison lake. Oh, one of these, huh? Search the chest. Too bad it's empty. Hmm. Well, I don't have enough HP to get across, I don't think. Maybe there's another invisible path on the mountains or something? Maybe I'm just supposed to walk on the mountains? No, that didn't work. Traveler's Wings? What?! <laughs> this fucking game! Okay, whatever. Collect 600 gold. Alright, there's gotta be a trick to this. It can't just be... Yeah, it can't just be killing the slimes. Maybe the slimes gather together and make like a mega slime or something? No, I didn't mean to kill that one! What?! Alright, let me restart. How do I... Do I just finish it to restart? Okay. Just get as far away from these guys as possible. Alright, come on. Make like a big slime or something. There we go. Yes! Yes! I figured it out using my brain!
For a second, I thought it was going to fail me because I got more than 400. Alright, talk to the princess. Are you the princess? I was waiting for you. No, I, I look like a princess in this dress, huh? Good. Awesome. Are you the princess? Or just the innkeeper's daughter? No, really. No, she's not. It, it, it would have ended already. Princess of Mistolia. Something important to tell you. Ah. Okay. Too bad this is kind of discordant. It doesn't really make a real story. Cross the gap. Okay. I see your game. I see your fucking tricks. Got the magic wand. Because a hero needs a magic wand. Find the sunken ship. Oh no. Oh, this one's just gonna be me searching everything. Unless I have to sink the ship? Hmm. I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to be the one to sink the ship, ironically. Oh, I have to sneeze. Oh no. Oh, I turned my webcam off, but I will not look. I want to head over the mouth. I had to call it instead, apparently. Oh, the time changed. Maybe you have to wait for the ship then? Okay. Found the Sword of Light. Alright. Getting real close to just beating this game. Uh, I'm running out of time though, real fast, so I'm gonna break it off after this level. If you wanna enter, hand it over. Uh, the Sword of Light. Can't scare me with that sword. Okay, what am I even handing over? I didn't even read it. Hand over the item. Item. <laughs> nice. Looks like a very handsome item. Alright, we'll beat the next level and then I've uh, got to hurry this up. Sneak past this. Oh, you can't cheat me. I see that one over there. That's, that's, che that's cheeky. Good. Hmm. Maybe I have to do something with the sleeping wall? <laughs> Good. Good, I just took his uniform. No problem. It's just me, just another ordinary soldier. Oh, it's the princess. Maybe this does make a little branching story? Oh no! She's evil! Alright, well that's as much of this as I can play right now because I've got maybe 15 minutes before I gotta get off of here. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and quit this. Alright, next I have... I've got two games left. Let's go ahead and do them both if we get the time. We've got Game Genie the Game. Uh, New Game Plus, but I haven't... This is there's a show? Or a whore not found. It went to a YouTube channel that's not available anymore. Uh, let's do a new game. Oh, this is like a, like a classic RPG. Oh, it's got like actual pictures. That's cool. Right, multiple small... Oh god, is this a full RPG at the moment? Uh, dexterity bonus. On Husky, because he's about to die? Dodger's about to die, whoever that is. Uh, maybe that was... Oh, no. Lane has been frozen. 
Uh, dual strike, lower the team's defenses, random magic attack. Let's do antagonize. This reminds me of those games like um, the Mega Man RPG and the Sonic RPG from back in the day. Okay. Let's heal Dodgers HP. Oh, he only... He, she, they only had 1900? Heavy metal. What items do we have? Ramen? Okay, maybe these are healing items and these are actual, like... Called out to the fans. 20 likes? What the fuck good did that do? Game Genie's wounds are healing. Well, that's cool. Item. Uh, light gun. Okay. Item. Mega Buster. Good. A thousand damage. Okay. Uh, power glove. I'm gonna turn the music off. Just in case. Alright, so lane. How do I tell which one is which, though? Let's go with the bomb on. Okay, so that's Husky. This must be Warp Zone. Let's do a strike. Oh, good, good. Alright, Dodger. Let's go Quick Slash. And Lane, who has a power up right now. I guess. Oh. Dodger gets another attack? That's not good. Alright. Let's antagonize. We'll lower its defenses. It's time for this. It's time for the big boy attack. Boom! It only did 266. Grapes. So a bomb. Bomb. That was a bomb. Whatever. I know this is kind of boring without the music, and I'm sorry, but it's YouTube. What, what can I do? You know, can't do much. I don't know how much health this thing had. Creak, says my chair. Alright, if this doesn't get over soon, we'll probably go ahead and go on to the last game. Although this is neat, this is kind of cool and endearing. I assume these guys are YouTubers. Since it said, check out the show, and then it went to a YouTube channel. But anyway, uh, you know, this must have been a cool, like, fan project back in the day. Either that or they made this themselves, which is even cooler. Oh no, Dodger's speed has been lowered. Warp Zone's power returned to normal. I think she has a healing move. I think that's a she anyway. Alright, well, uh, since this isn't really going anywhere, I guess we'll use the sub box. Oh, it went back up. Alright, I'm going to use the sub box until I see if something cool happens. And then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Oh, I doubled that time. So it's just been doubling each time. Okay. Oh no, I hate that kind of poison. Oh, look at all those likes. They can't just go on pointlessly forever. There's got to be some point. Uh, I guess I should unfreeze the other two characters.
Oof, they're gonna die from poison. That's not good. Uh, antidote. Oh, warp zone. Alright, oh, I'll just press heart. Actually, I want shit. No, I meant to go back. Gosh dang it. I want to use grapes. Grapes did like nothing. Massive magical attack. Well, that didn't do much. Sub box. 2050 or 2050. 2560. 5120. Dodger's about to die, but I'm not really worried about it too much right now. I just want to see if the sub box does anything at all. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Tears of the Husketeers. Okay. 40,960. Getting a bunch. They really love this. Is that all it is? Is just for an achievement? I think it was just for the achievement. Yeah, heal Husky, even though he has no health. No, I just want to... I want to see the game over screen at this point. Yes, negative 500 health. Most excellent. And yes, I know I could revive someone right now, but I really just want to get to the game over screen. I want to see what it looks like before I quit the game. Come on, we're almost there. You know, it always sucks when YouTubers just, like, disappear off the face of the internet. Like, I don't know what happened to these guys, but it's kind of unfortunate that I can't view their content now. Maybe someone's got it backed up online, but, you know, there's not always a high chance of that happening. It's not like the JonTron archive exists for every YouTuber, you know? So there's quite a possibility that I could never figure out who these guys are through their videos. Now, sure, I could find out on Reddit or something about who these guys were, but I'll never be able to view their content again, quite possibly. Which is real unfortunate, you know? Which, I guess I can't say much because I just recently deleted a bunch of my YouTube videos. Uh, I plan on re-uploading them on another channel eventually, I just don't want them on my main channel. But, you know, I, I guess I can't say much, since I'm guilty of doing the same thing, essentially. Stop focusing on healing, it just hit me. Maybe that means it's close to death. There we go. Alright, what now? Fail. I just get a fail? I don't get any grand extra- It's still going! <laughs> okay, what's New Game Plus? No, 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 no. Turn that music off. Oh, I don't think New Game Plus does anything. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. That was uh, Game Genie also. As Flashpoint is so popularly well-known for doing with me, it just closed. So I'm going to boot that back open right quick, and we're going to look at our last game, uh, which I've heard is quite the doozy. Let's see... Alrighty. Uh, this is called Tears of Despair. I believe it's a horror game? Pop over to Basilisk right quick. Which is the, uh, the browser thing used for playing, uh, I think Java games? Let me check it out right quick. For Unity. Oh, 
Well, that's an issue we're having. Uh, okay, well, I'll just switch this over to entire screen. There we go. All right, so this is Tears of Despair, trademark, 2014 by Sick. This looks interesting. Okay, what the hell happened? I'm lucky to even be alive. Man, this lady's got a big belly. Must be pregnant or something. All right, an okay. An earthquake and an accident, and right when we were getting close to the other town, damn it. Okay, calm down, Maria. You have to find the children and mom first. Maybe there's someone still in the car. Okay, that came from the car. Oh yes, this lady is most definitely pregnant. Adrian, how are you? Are you hurt? Mom, I'm hungry. Oh baby, you're okay. Oh god, thank you. Mom, please, I'm hungry. Because that's the thing to be worrying about right now. I know, baby. Stay here. I'll find your brothers and get you some food. We'll be all right. There seems to be a town to the right. I'll look there first. I don't know. Maybe this kid's been here for, like, hours or something. Pick up. A broken glass from... A broken glass from the car. It's sharp. Okay, that's definitely something I should be carrying around. This suffered a great deal. I hope it still works. I... I doubt the car still works, but, you know, you might get lucky. Whatever. Wasn't there a house or something over here? I thought I saw the edge of it. Okay, I could do without the, like, fucking static -y effect. Open door. Oh. Oh. Well, there's blood on the ground. I really need something to light this place. Okay. There's another car over here. Oh, well, can't use it. Can't go in there either. Oh, what do I do now? Okay, well, there's something. Put them in hair? It's a firefly, a bunch of them. I wonder if I can use them. Now let's go and see the house again. Okay, oh, okay, she, okay. I guess that's one solution. Put them in your hair. Oh boy, can't wait to see what's over here. What's this? Is this? Oh god, it's a leg. I'll all I'll. Who's there? Kill me. Fernando, is that you? Are you playing a trick on me, Fernando? God, this doesn't seem to be good. Oh no! That's not good. Fernando, is that you? I can hear something. Whoever it is, please kill me, please. That's fucked right up. He's suffering. What can I do? Please, it hurts too much. Help him. Oh god, that's not help! What are you doing? I'm so so- I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Jesus. What kind of mother would fucking do that? I mean, I guess you just- Oh no, he- is he even dead? Okay, okay that's flies. I thought his eyes were still blinking. That's little flies flying around. Wait, is that Peppa? Why is there fucking Peppa Pig there? <laughs> Whatever. I'm ignoring that. Going back to the fact that this is a fucked up game. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it must take a, either a really strong or a really fucked up mother to do that. Because, I mean, I guess you did just mercy kill your child. Since he was fucked up. But, uh... You know, whatever. Alright, let's... Still need to find Paula. I hope she's. You have another kid? Oh fuck that! Let's just get to the car and leave, please. Oh, I can't. I mean, I would also go look for my other child, but you know, you always see people in this situation. You're like, it's time to leave, you know, and they never do. Oh, that door's open. Okay. Okay. Paula, is that you? Are you okay? Please answer. Mom? Oh, she's. Is she okay? Oh. What the fuck, man? Jesus! What is this fucking... What the name, what's the name of that fucking anime? I was hungry, Mom. I tasted Fernando after you killed him, but he was rotten. I want to taste Paula now. How are you able to... Oh, God, not now? <sighs> Great. Great! Good, I see you already gave birth. Please give him to me. There's a river. I must save him. Oh, what? No, what? 
How the fuck was I supposed to know I was supposed to leave then? I mean, I, duh, I should have left then, but I didn't know it was gameplay. Oh, fuck, do I have to start this over? Oh, fuck, I have to start this over. Okay. Alright, so what did I... Okay, I went to the car. Talked to the kid. Little bastard. Wait, does that mean... Okay, the kid's over here, though, so the, did the kid not kill the other kid, then? Didn't she say something about finding a mom? Maybe the mom did it? The other mom or something? Oh, wait, I need the... the fireflies in my hair. Okay. Also, what would, like possess this kid to do this. Oh, I didn't get the glass. Gosh dang it. I know I forgot something. Alright, I gotta go get the glass. And this game is fucked up. Uh, I can honestly say this is one of the more fucked up indie games I've ever played. Or Flash games. I this Unity, so I guess it's technically an indie game. You wouldn't really classify it as a Unity game. Yeah, stab your kid to death, I guess. Honestly, I don't know how the kid's still alive to begin with. Oh man, his leg's not connected to his body, but it was twitching. That's fucking weird. God, that's weird. Alright, let's go fucking save the little girl. Or not save the little girl, but let's go watch the little girl get murdered. And what is the name of that? There's an anime that's fucked up and has a bunch of murder and gore and stuff in it. But essentially this happens with two characters, except there's a knife in the wall. Elf and Lead, that's what it's... No, it's not Elf and Lead. Elf and Lead's the one with the fucking psycho murder. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Also, oh, this is fucking crazy. Throw in River. Why did you do that, Mom? Now I'm following him. No. That's it? That's the ending? What? What the fuck happened? Yeah, a game by Sick. You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> okay. All right, and it—that's just the end. What, what the fuck, man? Well, the guy that told me about this wasn't wrong. It's fucking weird, is one way to put it. That was fucked right up. Uh, okay, let me put you on the BRB for a second. Actually, no, I'll go ahead and show you what Flashpoint is and how it works right quick. I have, I have one or two minutes left. So, uh, Flashpoint is. Like I said, a program designed to host Flash and Unity and all sorts of different things. It, it supports all of these platforms, including some that you just can't realistically run anymore, like the PopCap plugins and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it also holds animations by all of these platforms. They have a ton of planned features coming. They update almost literally every single day. The list of games just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, if you're into the adult side of Flash, there are adult animations as well. That was one of them right there. <laughs> but anyway, there are um, all sorts of things on here. You have an entire list of games. You can create playlists. Um, there's stuff that's just updated every single day, uh, including mini sites, microsites or whatever they're called. Uh, so, like, there's uh, the Pokemon microsites and ones for different games, and there's advertisement flashes and all sorts of stuff on here. There's tons of animations, there's stuff for businesses, all sorts of shit. Uh, there's plenty of configuration you can do and, and stuff. You can turn like things on and off, you can set custom logos. It's, it's all very cool. Uh, so the link for this will be down below. Um, thank you for watching the games. I'm sorry it was so short. Sorry to cut it short, but uh, you know, Maybe we'll dive into these again sometime. We'll take a look at a few more games, and we'll play some more of them all the way through. But for now, that was just to show some crazy, weird, wild Flash games, and 
boy did we have a few. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.